The Morning Show continues on Jazz 88. I welcome to The Morning Show Dory Molitor, who's CEO of WomanWise, the inside consulting firm. And uh, Dory, you've commissioned a new study about uh, uh, women, about 800 of them across the country, right? Right, 800 women, and it was an even split between all ages, um, matures, boomers, Gen X, and Gen Y. And this was about the American dream and their attitude toward it, kind of, right? Exactly. What did you find? Well, it was interesting. We found, first of all, that there is a lot of um, optimism and confidence in a time where we're living with so much uncertainty um, in the marketplace and in our lives. And so we wanted to dig deeper to understand that. And I think the overarching thing that came through um, throughout the study is that um, more women are still believing in the American dream, but they've changed what that means. And so for women today, the American dream has come full circle, and it's back to the pursuit of happiness. Um, we went, our founding fathers wrote the Declaration of Independence. They highlighted this country was all about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And then over the course of the next 200 plus years, this dream morphed to mean fame and fortune. And it was endless Amex cards, the McMansion at the end of the block. And when um, all of this came crashing down, women retrenched and really came full circle to look at what is the American dream and, and what is that really about. And what we found over and over weaving in this, it's more about inner happiness and that pursuit of happiness. It's not about external stuff. I see a couple of other things here about women. Uh, they have a, a sense of humanity uh, prevailing, and they also see business, uh, a part of business's uh, mission is to make the world a better place. Uh, both of those I highly salute. Absolutely. I mean, women do just care more about more things. She cares more about the environment. She cares more about education, ethics, social responsibility. And in this, especially in this time now where, you know, it's like, what is happiness? And the golden rule and the moral compass just came through over and over. Um, and an interesting thing as well, when we asked how important is community service in giving back to you, 97% of the women rated giving back as extremely important or moderately important. And so that's like a pretty high number. And the interesting thing is it was not just the older um, matures and boomers. It was equal, even millennials, the young generation, 94% of them ranked um, giving back um, and community service as extremely or moderately important. So she's out there. She feels that um, th um, she's confident, she's empowered, she's self-reliant, and she feels she can make a difference in the world, and she's out to do that, and she wants to join brands who are also caring about that bigger picture and making social change. You know, I thought there was a disconnect in the statistics when I first looked. 55% uh, uh, said that they'd lost trust and confidence in the country, but 63% said they were extremely confident or fairly confident in their ability to reach the American dream. What I'm hearing here is, get out of our way, let us do it. It, what it is is she's redefined what the American dream is. Mm -hmm. It's no longer fame and fortune. It's no longer uh, material, wealth, all of that. For her, the American dream is about inner happiness. It's about the freedom to choose the path she wants, the path, the career path, whether she wants to be stay-at-home mom, work, or not. She's got a lot of options. So that I, you're right that there appears to be a contradiction there, but it, it is a contradiction when you think that the American dream is that old definition. She's redefined what it is. Well, they realize the power of their voice as well. I guess maybe social media has had something to do with that, but more it's it's a sense of empowerment, I'm feeling. Absolutely. Um, she uh, as She's um, holding positions of greater authority and responsibility as she's bringing in more and more of the household income, as she's able to influence policy in 
business and government, she's realizing it's time that we speak up. And I think, quite frankly, we're in a mess worldwide. And I, women are feeling if we were leading the world and the country, it would be taking a different approach. And I think that we are at a fundamental shift in time where women are exerting their influence and ready to um, hear her voice and use her voice. Well, I'm ready for it. I'm tired of schoolyard bullies shoving each other around. I want somebody who can get something done. And I know from experience, women can do that. Yes, I think so. I think they can um, in vision and in leadership, and I think they can in daily grab it and make a decision and make, move it forward. Well, one other thing your survey showed is that uh, love thyself is really big among this group. Uh, they're taking care of themselves. Uh, they're looking at wellness and and um, basically having a good self-image. Well, you know, that's really interesting because um, we have worked with women for um, our insight work is all about women for 15 years now. And that whole bit about um, loving thyself Women have always been givers and nurturers, and so often they put themselves last. And we've been seeing the shift come, and now it's really strong. When we ask how important it is that to take care of your overall health and wellness, again, 99%. This was actually the number one ranked thing that was important for a happy and fulfilling life. They ranked health and wellness higher than um, spirituality, than marriage, than having children, and that was across all generations. So uh, she's at a time where she realizes that in order for her to fully embrace and enjoy her role as a mother, as a wife, as a daughter, as a um, world leader, she's got to be happy inside and out, and that she needs to take care of herself first then she can do all of those things. So that's really encouraging to hear because um, historically women have given to the detriment of their own self. Well, Dory, when I hear that WomanWise has done a survey, I take it very seriously because you're not a think tank. You're not a, uh, some sort of uh, on a peak where you're just looking at uh, statistics and conclusions. You're in business. You're telling business how to appeal to women, and you've got to get it right. So I, I take what you say seriously. Yes, and I we we are right. We work with a lot of major brands, major businesses, and business leaders. And the message we want them to see here is um, what we are hearing from women. She she wants them to make a profit, but she thinks it should be profits with purpose. She feels that business has an obligation to not only make money, but also bring about social change and make the world a better place. She wants to do that, and she's going to support brands that take a stand and that are, at, that are contributing to the world to make it more, um, uh, uh, more of what it can be. Well, terrific. It's an important study, and thank you for sharing it with us this morning, Dory. I